Hey, Merry Christmas everyone. You know, I think it's been a while since I've put up a video, but why no better time than Christmas? I know it's a little late, but um, this is it. And this is the review for the At The Front M41 jacket. This thing ain't bad, you know? Uh, quality's okay for being made in China, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, if I were to give it a straight rating, I'd give an 8 out of 10. It ain't bad, it ain't overly good. For the site saying it was made in the U.S., it's kind of lying. Um, on the inside of this jacket, there's a little fold in there that says, At the front, ink, uh, made in China. Which is interesting, but, you know, it's whatever. And I'm sorry for my little bit of farbness here. I know I don't got any insignia on my hat or nothing like that, but this is just the review of the jacket, and I thought I'd put on something seasonal. Anyways, the jacket's fine. I put my, uh, you know, a little patch on it and stuff like that. It's got the basics, it's got uh, all the buttons and new nads and ding dings, but uh, if, I have, if I have one complaint with it, it's a little bit uneven, and the state you get it in isn't the best, maybe? Uh, I know people like to age the shit, and this is definitely something for aging. And, uh, you know, it has roughly everything you'd want from it, and for being an $80 jacket, that ain't bad, you know, you can get, that's a pretty, you know, pretty decent price for something in China and uh, what you're getting for it. Especially originals being in the, you know, $300 to $800 range. I don't know, it's definitely the better option. But uh, for anyone starting a U.S. kit, hey, yeah. but, um, you know, a good place to start is with an original undershirt. This isn't a reproduction, I got it as an original and I was really happy with it because I got it with... Uh, some pants as well, but, uh, you know, got some Farby pants on here. I don't care. Um, my The pants that I got with it were not my size, so I sold them. But I've still got most of the stuff, you know. Uh, if you're definitely going to get anything else from at the front, I'd say do not get their web gear. Um, unless you're going to get a haversack or maybe this pack. Though so I'd suggest getting it from somewhere, somewhere else because their labels aren't the best. This is an original, but... Ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't get any sort of web gear from them unless you're going to heavily age it, because their web gear is pretty shit. Um, something you can compare it to is almost Chinese level. I know they say they, they make a lot of their stuff in the U.S., but they really don't. They really do not. Uh, for example, in here, I can pull this out. Is it in here? It is not in here. Where did I put it? Oh, no. Oh, uh, there it is. On top. Here we are. I'm not sure if this is made by at the front or not. Really shitty. Really, really shitty. In fact, the clip's upside down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is made by at the front. I got it from a bunch of other stuff um, from a dude on eBay who was saying it's from at the front. So I'm just going to trust him on it and say that it is. And it's kind of shitty unless you really put some effort into it. But, but, but you know, with if you're gonna put effort into it, might as well just get a nice one, or get an original at that point. Cause these things, like, for an M1 carbine pouch, I think they're like 20, 30 bucks a piece, which isn't bad. But anyways, enough of that, back to the jacket. Uh, the jacket itself's pretty nice, the fitting's good. I, I fit a 42, I'm kind of a big boy, I'm tall and lanky. So, you know, if you're a little guy, like five, maybe five, eight, something like that, get a 38 maybe or you know if you're only 13 you're probably gonna want some something bigger because you know you're gonna grow into it eventually uh when i when i got this thing i was a little smaller it's starting to still fit you know it's the pants that i have to worry about uh i got size 36 pants and i thought it was a big boy i'm the size 32 32 <laughs> so that was funny uh, but yeah jacket itself, you know, it ain't bad. The buttons are a little interesting. Some of them, I actually had a problem with some of the buttons. I gotta take that back. The buttons uh, sometimes come off. Sometimes. It's very rare. But if you give enough pressure, anything will go. So it's just something to keep in mind. You wanna, might want to take up a little bit of stitching. But, uh, you know what? Let's turn it around. So here we are. This is it's behind. Um, as you can see, it's Pretty nice, you know, it's definitely got the, line, the collar and all that sort of stuff, and this is how it looks with web gear. Of course, uh, I, I <laughs> need to get a new one of these, it's almost just about to flip off on the hook right there. Um, 
And it's an original. I, I got it like this. It's kind of shardy. I've been my best, you know, to be very gentle with it. But it's just, it's the test of time, you know what I mean? But it definitely looks good with the web gear. It fits nice. It's not shitty. It doesn't feel wrong unless you have it in the wrong size. But that's how I felt when I was like 13. I got this when I was 13. I didn't fit it. And with all the web gear, I was like, fuck, I can't fit this because I was so tiny. And well, when you're tiny, you can't really wear much unless you get tiny shit. But this was meant for big boys and men. Um, so good fucking luck. Uh, however, it does look great with web gear, especially if you age it just a teensy weensy. I had this rolled around the mud a bit. I played a few airsoft games with it. It's fine. It definitely does its job for being an M41 jacket. Of course, it's supposed to be a little loose on you and shit like that, but you know, whatever. It's just it's an M41 jacket. What are you expecting from it? But, um, yeah, you know, the quality of the actual material is fine. The stitching is fine. Overall, about an 8 out of 10. Ain't worse, ain't better. But, yeah, I think this is it for this review. If you have any other questions about it, I'm willing, more than willing, to talk about it with you in the comments, so you can reach out to me on Instagram or whatever, I don't care. And uh, I've got a few more reviews on the way, definitely for other stuff. So if you want to see more stuff, just ask what you want. I'll pull whatever the hell I can out. All right, bye.